Do you ever feel like you're not good at Fortnite anymore and wish that you could relive the days where nobody seemed like they knew what they were doing and absolutely wreck some kids? Well, I got good news for you. That experience for Fortnite still exists, and it exists on the Nintendo Switch. Playing on the Nintendo Switch honestly feels like you're cheating when you're playing Fortnite. I myself stopped playing Fortnite quite a while ago, but then once they introduced the no build mode, I came back and I've been having a ton of fun with it. Now, of course, the more games you win, the you know harder the lobbies will probably get due to skill-based matchmaking, but playing on the Switch honestly feels like I'm playing with a bunch of bots, because odds are, you're playing against a bunch of kids playing on their Switch in handheld mode, and it's not really easy to play the game in handheld mode, especially with the Joy-Cons. If their parents were too cheap to actually get them the Pro Controller and they're not playing on a legitimate setup, it's pretty much easy dubs for you. Honestly, just plug in your Switch to your desired monitor or TV, plug in your Pro Controller, and go to town. Whether you're good at building or just want to play the no build mode, it honestly feels like no contest if you're at least somewhat competent when it comes to aiming. At least the Switch Pro Controller actually feels like a real controller, unlike the Joy-Cons. So even if you're not amazing with it, you'll probably still do better than you would with the Joy-Cons. I played two games back-to-back -back with Fortnite on the Switch after playing on the Xbox, and it just honestly felt like I was just on another level of player. Like, so many people, when they're playing Fortnite on the Switch, will just stop moving when they are trying to shoot you, because if you're using the Joy-Cons, it kind of is a little weird, and it, it's hard to do, honestly. When I did play Fortnite in handheld mode, or just with Joy-Cons, it wasn't that easy for me. Playing with a pro controller just makes the world of a difference. Now, of course, there's a couple caveats to this. If you're playing on the Switch, well, have fun because you are locked at 30 FPS. And honestly, even then, the console still struggles to get a consistent 30 frames a second. So if you can deal with playing on potato graphics that look like PUBG on the Xbox One and having maybe a maximum of 30 frames a second, then you'll probably have a lot of fun playing Fortnite on the Switch. Quite honestly, I just don't have words to describe how easy it feels to play Fortnite on the Switch with a Pro Controller. It, like I said, feels like cheating, and do I feel slightly bad because these are probably kids that I'm absolutely destroying in Fortnite? Uh, a little bit, but I feel a little bit better because I'm winning, actually. <laughs> Is it fair? No. Is it cheating? No, but it feels like it if you're a somewhat competent player on another console. It's a battle royale, it's all about who can win and who has the highest skill. And your odds are, if you're playing on a Switch, you're playing against pretty young people. I don't really have any other words to describe what playing on the Switch is like. It runs horribly, it doesn't look that great, but you can actually do good with it. I'm gonna let the rest of this match play out just to kinda show you like how easy it feels to be playing on the Switch sometimes and how unfair it feels. Uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Are you still playing Fortnite? Did you come back? Are you enjoying it? Uh, thank you guys for sticking around, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Cheerio, mates!